What is going on guys, it's Mudder Dwarf here, welcome back to another PS4 tutorial. So Jose Gonzalez has finally released his method for installing package files off a USB drive without the debug settings. So in this video I'm going to be covering exactly how to set that up on your PS4, on a jailbroken PS4. Apparently it also works on retail PS4s, so I'll be probably taking a look at that maybe in a follow-up video because that would be useful for installing older game updates on retails. But for now, we're going to be covering the method of using this on a jailbroken PS4, because it can also be handy uh, even on a jailbroken PS4, because you don't need to run Hen or Mira in order to install package files with this method. So once you have it set up, that is. So at that point, you'll be able to install package files without Hen or Mira running. But obviously, if you want to run any of the fake package files, you'll still need Hen or Mira. But you will be able to install retail packages and retail updates without running Hen or Mira first, which is quite handy. So, uh, plus it's got some other like useful little features as well that I'm going to be covering here. So let's get into this. So first of all, if I transition back over to the computer here, uh, first thing you're going to have to do is download this ENHDD, uh, which will be linked in the description. This is what was released by Jose Gonzalez. I'll put his channel link in the description. So basically, if we open up the folder here, we've got a bunch of files. All we need to do is copy those to the root of a USB drive, making sure, of course, that the USB drive is formatted in the one and only XFAT format. So you can obviously right click and reformat it to XFAT format if it's not already in that format. Obviously, make sure you back up any data on the drive before doing so, because it will erase the drive. But uh, once you've got your drive in XFAT format, you just want to extract all the contents of this enhdd.rar into the root of the USB drive. Simple as that. And then for the package files, you just have to put them in this package directory. Now, he's already got a bunch of um, package files already in here, um, just as an example. So I'm just going to get rid of those for now. And we'll put some other package files in here. So we've got Pure Pool and Minecraft. And I also have Fallout 4, which has updates and DLC. So I'll go ahead and grab one of the DLC packages, uh, one that's not too big. We'll go for that one. And then we'll also grab the game and the 1.20 update. And we'll pop those in there as well. Okay, so I've got them all copied over to the package directory right here. Now, one thing to note is that sometimes if the package file isn't named correctly, it doesn't install with this method. And I thought it was just to do with spaces in the file name. It must be something else to do with the file or the file name, but sometimes it doesn't install certain packages. So the best way to make sure it installs them is to set the package name to the content ID of the package file. So if I open up Minecraft in package editor, I'll link package editor in the description. Uh, we can just copy the content ID and then rename the package file to the content ID. Now this isn't the case with all package files, but for some reason, certain ones do not install unless the package file name is different or changed so just setting that setting it to the content id is a sure way that it's going to install it okay i don't think it has a problem with these three so anyway now what i'm going to do is just eject the usb drive and plug it into our ps4 so the next thing you want to do is run the homebrew enabler or mira on your exploit host whichever one you're using uh, so that you can then install those first two package files so if we go into settings we then scroll down to the debug settings and then we can go into game package installer and we're going to install the one that says install one.pkg. We're going to install that one first and it will potentially come up with an error. If it does, don't worry about it. And then we're going to install the second one package auto install install two. And then that is them both installed. So we're not going to run this one. This is the first one, I believe. We're not going to run that. We're only going to run the package auto install, but we do need both of these applications installed on our PS4. Okay, so now that we've got these installed, if I run the auto package install now, then what you'll notice, okay, it came up with the whole update later thing. I don't have Ali's of DNS on right now, but if I go back, you can see it is running. It says close application. If you do have Ali's of DNS added and you're blocking connections to Sony servers or you're not connected to the internet, then when you run this, it might kind of freeze. It might just like look like it's frozen. If that's the case, just hit the middle button and then hit options and check to see if you have the close application. Because if you have close application, then that obviously means that it is actually running in the background. And that's what you want. You need this to be running in the background in order for this to work. So now all we have to do is unplug our USB drive and plug it back into the console so that it recognizes or refreshes. So it realizes that there's packages on the USB to be installed. 
Okay, so I've plugged in my USB drive. Takes a few seconds, but there you go. It says unit is updating and it starts installing all of the files. So this is quite interesting because this is basically, you know, the same behavior that we saw in IDU mode, but it's doing it without actually enabling IDU mode. So you're not being forced into OMSK and, and having to use staff mode to exit and not being able to run games or anything. Um, as you can see, it installed Minecraft just fine. It's installing Fallout. Obviously, Fallout's a much larger game, so it's taking taking its time. Seven minutes, 30 gigabytes. And then it's also got the, the Fallout update as well. And then it needs to install. Okay, so there we go. We've got Fallout 4 installed. If I go to information... Okay, it's on the base version. That's interesting. So it hasn't recognized the updates. Oh, okay, there we go. They are there. They're just waiting to install for some reason. Just have to tell it to start. And hopefully it should do its thing. Yeah, there we go. Installed the update. And then what else do we have? We've got this DLC add-on. So we'll go ahead and start that as well. And that's installed as well. Okay, there we go. So now if I go on here and I go to information, we can see we're on 1.20 and we have that DLC installed. So as you can see, works pretty well. You can just plug in a USB drive now with the packages on it and it will install them. And what's really interesting about this as well is that it does work when you don't have Hen or Mira running, although it doesn't appear to install fake package files if you don't have Hen or Mira running, which is uh, interesting, I guess. Maybe there is a way to get it to install them, but from what I've seen, when I plug the USB drive in, when not running Hen or Mira, it just um, doesn't recognize that the package files are even on there. But it will work with retail package files. So if you put any retail package files on without running Hen or Mira, then this will still work even without running Hen or Mira. So just to show that, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a retail package file on, even though it's something I can't actually run. Um, I'm going to put it on the USB drive and restart the PS4 so that we're no longer running Hen or Mira and show that it actually is able to install a retail package file and it does still work even when you're not running Hen or Mira because this ultimately does not appear to be a fake package file. It's kind of either some kind of modified OMSK of some kind um, or, you know, it uses the same directory as OMSK. So, yeah, or maybe it's OMSK daemon, but it's renamed to something else. Um, but yeah, anyway, so let's go ahead and do that right here. Okay, so I've rebooted the PS4 here. As you can see, padlock symbols and all the fake package files. You know, if I try and run the homebrew store here, it says that I can't run it because I'm not running Hen or Mira. So none of those package files will run. But just to show that this package installer still works even when you're not running Hen or Mira is we're going to plug in the USB drive again. This time I have a retail package file on here, Crash Bandicoot and Sane Trilogy, which um, obviously it's not going to be runnable. But, you know, just to show that it installs, it would be good for installing game updates and stuff. So we'll go ahead and run the package installer again. Now, even though it's padlocked and it looks like it's a fake package file, it's not because even though I can't run it, if I press the options button, you can see it is still actually running. It says close application. So it is running in the background. So all I've got to do is uh, plug in the USB drive now. Plug in our USB drive and there it goes. The unit is updating. And as you can see, it is installing the package file. So even though we're not running Hen or Mira and we don't have the debug settings enabled, we are able to install package files. So that will be very useful for installing game updates, especially on retails. I'll be looking at that again in a follow-up video. But as you can see, it is a handy way of installing package files. Just gives you another method. You know, you can install them with the debug settings on a jailbroken PS4. You can install them with, you know, the remote package installer or PKGI. And now you can also install them off the USB without the debug settings using this auto package install which again doesn't require Hen or Mira in order to use it. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.